what's up guys so we are back again and we got something good for you we're going to talk about male masculinity i know the topic no one wants to hear because it's toxic no one wants to listen to because ugh, shut up all right it's time to get serious and it's time to you know get up and get with the program okay so this is where we're at in today's world you all know by now i think from 2012 and onward that male masculinity has severely degraded downhill. And you guys all know what I mean. You see the dresses, you see the uh, problems with identifying themselves, you see all these different things of uh, like painting nails or uh, being afraid to go outdoors, being afraid to get hit in general. I don't know what's going on there, okay? I don't know what's being put in the water. I don't know what they're being fed. I'm just kidding. I know what's really going on. And at least I have a good idea, correct? Put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Because um, it's affecting marriages too and relationships. Believe me, this is not a good thing that's going on. And what it is or what has been told to me when I do ask this question is that the person or the people that you come across that have this, this severe lack of masculinity in males they're just consistently reproducing and then it does like a spider web effect. And now look, you have a whole generation that just doesn't even know what the heck it is. And they say it's toxic, but they say it's too assertive. It's too aggressive. You need to be more aware of your emotions or your, whatever the case it is. I get that. You need to have emotions. It's okay to, you don't let your pride get in the way. Cool. But when you need to uh, swing an ax or swing a hammer, or you need to stand up for something you believe in, not get pushed around, have a backbone, or all the above, that takes precedence, okay? Because this world out here does not care about you, does not care about me, and does not care about anyone else you have around you, okay? So we're going to get into a couple things that I've seen here. And uh, as you can say, as you can see, I'm pretty worked up about it, all right? Because I don't... I want to make a change, and I'm sure you guys want to make this change too. The males, bring more males into the group. Bring more of the masculinity in here. We need that. We thrive off of that, all right? When we see a Viking or, you know, we watch movies or something, and you see a man swinging an act with a cigar in his mouth and a flannel, pretty jacked up, whatever the case, you can say to yourself, that's man, right? And doing other manly stuff, whatever the case may be. If it gets you pumped up, you're one of them. All right? If you say, oh, I don't think you should do that. Well, then we need to talk. Okay? Because that's how they did stuff before. They go out. They kill it. They bring it back. Drag it by its two legs. Hump it on their shoulder. Slam it down. Dinner's here. That is it. Okay? As time has evolved, it grew more and more. That, you know, cigars whiskey glass, whatever. If you don't drink, fine. Um, they had other things that when you're, you know, sitting in a group, okay, and you want your voice to be heard, you say it with your chest. It's not the timid, oh, well, I don't think it's going to work. What's not going to work, okay? When someone responds like that, they take it as assertive or too aggressive. It's too much for them, okay? And it's not, really. It's that you have a very strong expression and you have a very strong point you want to make and you want it to get done, okay? You want results, you want answers, this is how we're going to go about it. Straight and forward, we're not goofing around, all right? So, and to others, it is very much praised and saying thank you for doing that, okay? Because they still exist. They're just far and few in between with a huge gap, all right? We need to fill and close the gap, all right? So, now, to continue on, okay, that's my rant, but to continue on, I've come across a lot of younger men, I mean, just graduating uh, high school, 18, um, 20, even 23 years old, okay, and don't have a backbone, um, they don't know, of course, they don't know how to stand up for themselves, they feel like if they speak about something, um, I know this kind of is a similarity between the three, but I'm just going off of what I've seen. They feel like if they voice their opinion or speak about something, they're going to get told no anyway. Well, it's not no unless you don't ask. They don't, they don't feel they're going to, they feel they're going to get told no. Um, they don't know how to protect themselves or protect their family. Don't know how to fight. Don't want to get punched. No physical activity for sports. Um, 
don't know how to carry themselves, okay? And the big contributing factor to that is that there's more fatherless children in today's economy and it's rapidly growing, okay? So with that said, if you need to send your kids this video, whatever the case, because you you just don't feel you're that type of in individual to have those values, I am fine with that. Let them learn to become men, okay? And hopefully there may be something that you gain out of this too as well, all right? Um, for example, there's fathers that don't take care of their kids anymore. I don't know what's up with that, but you need to pull your pants up and go do the work. All right. The second thing or the third thing, whatever number I'm on, cause there's a huge list of them is that, um, not doing any physical activity or they, they're afraid to get punched in the face. Okay. When, when things were, and everybody refers to the same stuff. Back in my day, you know, that back in Nam thing. Yeah, that's because men were men at that point. Okay, even if I say from 2012 on, something is dipped in the water, mixed in the eggs, I don't know, but it's not working right. And from that point on, it has slowly separated its way. Okay, um, <clears throat> I don't know why you're afraid to get punched in the mouth, but sometimes it's deserved. Okay, so take it <laughs> and move on, all right? And the crazy, this I'm just gonna go over a couple more topics because I could go on about this for hours. But the general basis of this is we need to raise more men, okay? And women love that, okay? Women love men. They don't like the, I mean, some do, so I guess it's case by case basis, but let's just talk about the vast majority, all right? Some women are put in the role that they have to be the man and the woman. Think about that. I know you heard what I said. The man and the woman. That's crazy. And maybe they need a little bit of pep talk. The man maybe he needs a little pep talk. Like, hey, you know, get up, stop crying, you know, or express your emotion. All right, I see what you're saying. But hey, when you really need to get this done. All right. Tears are done. Hop up and get it done. And there's a severe lack of that. Okay, it's 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 insane. Some women are just actively taking over the role of the man in general before he even gets a chance. It's crazy because there's no established dominance there to say, okay, let's talk about this. I see your point. Is this the best way to go? Well, yes. All right, we'll, we're going with it. Final decision, stamp of approval. We're moving out. Not happening. It's crazy. And, uh, so anyway, feel free to put your comments below, your thoughts. I want to hear what you guys think. And please, when you come across these hardened individuals, put them in the group because this is where we need it. This is going to be the change that we enforce and we push out everywhere else that doesn't have it. Okay, and by as many as you want, I don't care. The more the merrier because I'd rather have grown, able-bodied, hard-charging men that I can talk to, stand beside, shoot the stuff with, whatever, than people that don't un don't know if they want to wear a dress or a t-shirt today. Well, how about I rip the sleeves off my polo and I wear that, or I just run out without a shirt outside because apparently that's frowned upon if you run around without a shirt and shorts. Ooh, let's let's pull off the goggles, people, because. People been doing that. They still do, and they do it at beaches, but now everyone has a problem with it because they lack confidence. Wow. So, hey, let's go to the gym together. Let's get pumped. Let's work out. Let's, you know, do a little walk, this and that. No, they'll shame you because you're confident. For what? This is why I mean that you need to be a man today. Today, after this video is done, start reading how to be a man. If you think, if you even have the second thought in the back of your mind, am I a man? Go read a book. Go read the manliest man book that you can read and then start doing the manliest man stuff. They don't even know how to mow grass. Don't know how to cook. Don't know how to uh, fix stuff in their house. Fix a tire, a flat tire. All right. Don't know how to defend themselves. The list can go on, my friends, my brothers. The list can go on. But you know what? We need to make a stop right here 
and start inviting more men. Send this video out to every person you know that you think, hey, you could use some of this. Even if it's a joke, they'll send it to somebody else. And guess what? Guess what got spread? Manliness. All of it. Every ounce of oozy manliness you have control of. And now you can spread it to everyone else. <laughs> so that's all I got. Stay tuned. Keep doing what you're doing. Promote more manliness. Do some manliness stuff. Tag me in it. Let me see it. If you guys are chopping wood or lifting weights and you're grunting because of how heavy that the load is when you're pounding out rep for rep, I want to see it because I like seeing that in today's world and that's what we need. We need more men. So be a man. Don't be a sucker. See ya.